Hello everyone, Ryan here with another 2020 Subaru Outback tip for you. In this video, I wanna talk about weather alerts. I've heard from a lot of owners complaining about getting weather alerts when they don't wanna get them, maybe from a weather event that's far away from where they are, or they just find those weather alerts annoying, and I'm gonna show you how to turn those off. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna find the apps icon on your screen here, and you wanna to touch that, and that will open up um, these three additional icons in here. And you may see these uh, icons uh, lit up if you have an iPhone plugged in or an Android phone plugged in. They're grayed out on mine right now because I don't have one plugged in, but you may see those. But uh, the uh, app that we're interested in is this X SXM Travel Link app. And this is a, f a service that Sirius XM provides. Now you might be familiar with Sirius XM um, because of their radio and music service that you can get on the, on the radio, listen to music uh, via the satellite system that they have. They also offer a separate service that they call Travel Link, and that's also integrated into the 2020 Outback. Now there is a, subs a separate subscription fee and cost associated with Travel Link. However, it is fairly affordable, um, and Subaru has actually worked out a deal where for the first three years of ownership, Travel Link is included. Now, I think you only get about three months with the actual music subscription, but the Travel Link subscription piece uh, gives you about uh, three years or so. So uh, if it stops working three years from now, you'll know why. Um, you need to go to SiriusXM and get, get that uh, service reactivated if you decide that you really like this service. A lot of people uh, you know, are, are having problems with it. I wanna go into it. So the first thing you need to do is just open up the SiriusXM Travel Link app, and you'll see some um, options here across the top. The first is uh, fuel prices. Now this takes a while to update because it has to receive a signal from a satellite, and it just sort of broadcasts uh, endlessly, and it can be a while before you actually get fuel prices in here. Um, I find that it's not too useful. I mean, you just go and uh, use an, uh, an app on your phone or something like that. However, if you are in uh, an area and you maybe forgot your phone or something, you're trying to find a good price in gas, maybe this is a good option for you. So you can go ahead and check that out. But the thing that I wanna uh, dive into is if you come across the top here, you have sports scores and stock uh, tickers. Um, and then you also have weather and weather alert. So when you just tab over here, you can see weather and weather alert. Um, we're interested in the weather alerts and how to turn those off. So I'm gonna go ahead and select weather alert. Um, you can see that there are currently no alerts available for my area, but I can s change the location here. So if, if I select uh, current location, that will use the GPS system from the navigation system of this particular vehicle, or you can select a specific location um, by choosing select location, and then you can find a given um, state or province that you'd like to receive weather alerts for. Um, you can also add a favorite uh, location if you'd like to do that. However, most people just want to turn these off. If you're watching this video, you just want to figure out how to turn them off. You come in here to settings right here, and what you want to do is just make sure alert notifications is uh, off. You can just turn that off, and you won't get those alert notifications. You can turn off these marine uh, coastal zone warnings as well. And if you come under here under alert types, you can decide which ones you uh, receive. Maybe you only want to receive uh, emergency notifications and not warnings and watches. So. That's something you can adjust as well. So that's how you change the uh, weather alert settings. It's, it's not a function of the main menus. You're not gonna find it in the normal menus. It's a function of the Sirius XM Travel Link app that you can find underneath this apps program right here. Our test vehicle today has been the 2020 Subaru Outback Limited XT. I'm the owner of this vehicle. I don't work for Subaru or a Subaru retailer. We're making these videos just to help others get the most out of their Outback. Thanks for watching.